Hey guys, welcome back to another video. A short while ago, I bought this smart switch by Sonoff that provides the control to turn off or turn on a device from anywhere on earth using a smartphone Android app. So let's take a closer look at how this works. Inside the box, we get this Wi-Fi enabled smart switch and we get some screws to secure these caps. Uh, we get a manual and a warranty card as well. So let me keep all these aside and uh, look at the smart switch itself. This switch is rated at 10 amps and it can work on AC voltage of 90 to 250 volts. The input is on to this side and the output is on to the other side. The output voltage is same as the input voltage and uh, this is where I connect uh, the electronic device that I would like to power and control. And here is a small uh, click switch that is used to manually turn on or uh, turn off the connected device. This button is also used initially for configuring the Wi-Fi connection. So coming to the connection part, uh, I have an electrical uh, cable here uh, for which I have put a plug on one end and the other end I will be connecting this to the input terminals of the Sonoff uh, switch. I also have another shorter cable with a female plug attached to one end and the other end I shall be attaching it to the output terminal of the Sonoff switch. To this socket I shall then plug in my electrical appliance. So let me quickly make all the connections and come back. So guys, all the connections are done and it's time to test it. So this is the input plug and this is the output side. So let me go ahead and put this plug into the wall socket. So as you can see, I have powered this on and you can see the Wi-Fi LED already blinking. So to the output side, I shall be attaching a reading lamp to test out the connections. We need to first configure the Wi-Fi connection using an app and I have already installed this Android app from Play Store and it's called eVLink. So let me go ahead and open this app. We'll have to first create a Sonoff uh, cloud account using our phone number as user ID and it does an OTP verification to register the account. I've already done this and uh, logged into my account. So it now tells me that there are no devices added. So let me click this add button now. So now I have to press and hold the button on the Sonoff uh, switch for 5 seconds until it flashes rapidly. Yeah, it is now flashing rapidly and let me go ahead and click this next button. It's now asking my Wi-Fi credentials and to select the network. So I'll just do that and come back. I've keyed in my credentials and it's currently detecting the device and it's registering the device. And it has now completed the registration and asking me to give a short name to the device that I have plugged in. So let me go ahead and rename the device as lamp and hit the complete button. And it's giving me a confirmation that it has added the device successfully. And you can see that there is a one device added to my list of uh, devices and it's called lamp. So let me go ahead and try to switch on the device using the app. So the lamp has turned on and let me try to switch it off now. And it's switched off. So it works flawlessly and uh, I can even control the device manually using the push button that is located on the switch itself. So let me go ahead and try that out. So even it works uh, from the uh, push button also, I can control the switch. As I told you earlier, since I have put a socket onto the output, I can connect a wide variety of uh, home appliances or devices to this smart switch and control through the app. And I don't have to be necessarily connected to this Wi-Fi network and I can just use my mobile internet connection for controlling this device and this gives me flexibility to control it from anywhere outside my house. So let me show you how it works. So let me switch off the Wi-Fi connection now. I have turned off the Wi-Fi connection and it's now um, uh, uh, depending on my mobile internet connection. So I'll just go ahead and try to switch it on. 
and turn it off if you are wondering how it all works let me quickly explain it to you so here we have all the connections made the son of uh, switch is connected to the main spur on the left and to its right we have connected a bulb to the output now the switch uses the power from the mains and is connected to the internet using the router in the smartphone app when i click the switch on button the, this command is sent to the son of cloud using your mobile internet connection or using the wi-fi connection after this the command is relayed back to the son of a smart switch through the router to switch on the device and there are a couple of more features on the app for example i can go ahead and grant permissions to any other person who has a son of account to control my device using this uh, share button here and also i can schedule uh, uh, these devices to turn on or off automatically without me having to do that um, every now and then through the scheduler here and also there is a timer button out there where i can configure the device to switch on or switch off after a time interval and i can repeat this timer infinitely through the loop timer functionality so i find this uh, switch really useful for controlling uh, appliances like uh, portable lamps fans and other small devices the best feature of this smart switch is that it can be used with amazon alexa and google assistant so we can use voice commands to control the device that is connected with this switch a variety of different models are also sold by this company they have multiple switches for controlling more than one device so guys that's all i have in this video and i hope this was useful please hit that like button if it helped and also do subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching and have a great day